Thank you, Senator Shelby. I'll exercise my time now. Uh, Mr. Chairman, you point out in your testimony that the core uh, personal consumption expenditures minus gas, food, and rent, 4.9 percent, then even slightly declined from the previous report. So that leaves the, the real culprits, uh, gas, food, and rent. Uh, first, the, the issue of gas price inflation is a global phenomenon. Is that correct? Yes, I mean, g gas prices are a function of oil prices to a, to a significant extent, and then and then you know the, the refining spread as well. Right, and uh, that's had been exacerbated by the Ukraine uh, invasion. Uh, we've deliberately, and the Europeans have deliberately cut off uh, uh, accessing Russian supplies, and that's added to inflation. And the other problem, also with with in hydrocarbons, it's a cartel that sets the price. Is that accurate? Sorry, what's a cartel? It's oh, a you cartel mean? that sets the price yes. of oil worldwide. Yes, globally, that, that cartel has a very major impact on the price of oil. And they have decided uh, uh, to, that uh, further production is not as lucrative to them as just sitting back and, and making money. That's what it appears like. Uh, with respect to food, there are multiple factors there also. One is climate. Uh, we've seen loss of arable land. We've seen a lot of factors. All of this is outside the purview of the Federal Reserve, but I think it's helpful to understand what are driving forces in these price increases. Uh, transportation issues with respect to food, that's a function of higher diesel costs, a function of lack of drivers. Uh, again, the Ukraine, a significant uh, amount of wheat is not being exported from Ukraine or from Russia, as well as fertilizers. That's driving the price. And then the rental uh, affordable housing issue, that has been a crisis since I became a congressman in 1990. I recall marching in Washington for affordable housing in 1990. We just don't have enough. Uh, and that, I think, is a factor, too. Is, uh, are those the, the major causes for these increases in prices? Those are some of the major ones. Uh, you know, you could also point to um, uh, some parts of the goods economy, uh, which have been restrained at restrained capacity, and now you're actually seeing significant uh, price increases in some of the service economy as it really reopens fully now, mm -hmm. and that, that would be the, the travel and leisure sector. There's another issue, too. We talked about the, the cartels that dominate hydrocarbons, but we found, for example, during the pandemic that there are really just four major meat processes in the United States, and with four rather than a multiple of of that, uh, there is the ability to uh, indirectly uh, restrain uh, supply and raise increase prices. In fact, some of my colleagues, particularly in the House, have been talking about the antitrust as aspects of some of these price increases. Is that a plausible in ingredient to the problem, too? So I, I, I think that's really a matter for the competition authorities, not for us. But sure, some I think, are, broadly speaking, our economy is is very competitive. There, there will be some industries where that's uh, that's less so the case. So th 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 these range of, of you have to take action, and your basically tool is interest rates and uh, going in and out of buying public securities. Uh, but we have a lot of work to do too which is to try to resolve some of these issues. Uh, uh, and we have to do it uh, in order to assist your efforts, the fiscal policy and other policy. I was very pleased to see the president sign legislation with respect to shipping reform. Uh, that's a step. But we have to do much more, too. Is that accurate? I think that's, that's really a question for you. We're very focused on uh, sticking to our knitting and uh, carrying out the task that we've been assigned. Uh, no, I appreciate that. And uh, the independence of the Fed is something that has to be protected uh, by everyone, including particularly yourself. Uh, a, a final sort of issue that I'm uh, thinking of, we're at a, a, a tremendous, I think, turning point in our economy. Factors that 10, 15 years ago were not active, things like social media, et cetera. But one other fact, too, with respect to hydrocarbons is uh, I, perhaps the companies are either unconsciously or consciously limiting investment because they're anticipating an electrified uh, power supply, electric cars, electric everything. Is that something that the Fed is looking at? I, I think that is certainly um, 
if you pick up the annual report of any of the big oil companies, you'll see that that is something that, that is happening. And it's a, it's a rational economic uh, response to, you know, expectations about where future policy is headed. No, I, again, I think there are so many factors here, but I think it's good to get some of them on the table. And thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. With that, let me recognize.